I like cold things, so it makes sense that I would like hockey, ice hockey. Are there different types of hockey? I haven't gone to a hockey game, but when I was a child, everyone else in my class had a, a jersey for the, the, the Ranger people, and uh, I wanted one because everyone had one. So I got one, and I wore it a lot. And um, I'll be honest, I don't remember where I was going with this. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to go back and take a look at our platform SSO on the Mac, see how that device is doing, and we're going to look at some, some cool things uh, we can do with it, including uh, having an SSO experience for your users to their Windows 365 Cloud PC on Mac. I mean, I, mean, I guess the bottom line is I'm not going to go to a hockey game. What's the snack situation there? Popcorn, normal stuff? Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so we're doing a little better this time, being able to share the Mac. I'm actually using uh, VNC. Um, couldn't quite get the entire aspect ratio right, but this is close enough, so I'm gonna have to deal with these lines. A little old school here. Um, but anyway, so if we take a look at the Mac, uh, let me go ahead and open up Company Portal. I'll hit sign in, but we, we have the platform SSO configured. The Mac is entry joined and um, gonna do a few things, right? One of the things I wanna do is I wanna go ahead to the, uh, in the portal here, once it checks in and download some apps and see what the experience looks like there. Okay, and while we're waiting for that, I just wanted to answer some questions I got regarding platform SSO in general. So I'm gonna go to the settings on the Mac and we're gonna go to the uh, users and groups. And we're gonna take a look at this particular user. So this is Rick Jones. You can see I can't change the password. It's telling me it's synced with my Microsoft Enter password. And that's perfect. That's what we want, right? Um, now you can see the details here for the platform SSO. We can see who I'm logged in as, what the method is. Um, we also have the option to repair the registration if for some reason it breaks. And you can also see that the tokens are present, right? So in general, this is a good way to see what's going on. Now, back in my company portal, I'm going to go ahead and grab Office um, for my device since I don't believe it's on here yet. It is not. So I want to download Office, show you some of the capabilities of the platform SSO here. Okay, so my apps look like they're coming through. Uh, some background items are getting added. I'm just gonna let them go. Let me check here. Oh Yeah, there we go. Very nice So let's have a look at some of these. Let me do word oh, Look at it bouncing max funny uh, Let's see here sign in or create an account I'm gonna go ahead and enter my account here, but it shouldn't ask for the password. It should just go, okay, cool. So it went ahead and used my machine platform SSO and I am synced up. There's my OneDrive. Cool, let's check out another app. Let's check out Outlook. Oh, and this time I didn't even have to specify, so it looks like it automatically found it. Great. All done. Oh, you can pick your theme, green, blue, whatever. All right, there we go. So our Outlook is set up. Good to go there. Okay, so another app I want to show is Microsoft Edge. So we have that pushed from Intune. And this is obviously a big one because as we get to the point where we want to introduce uh, policy and things like that to our browsers and, and doing some web control stuff, we want Edge on here. But take a look, it already found the account. So I just click sign in to sync data, right? And that's it, right? I have to sign in again. You see, everything is just pretty much allowing me to uh everything is allowing me to just sso in so i'm having a really good experience so far on the mac that's going to mimic my experience on the pc 
The last and probably most important thing is the Windows app. Now this app is only available in beta right now, so you have to get it through Test Flight. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Test Flight is an app from the store, uh, from the, the, the Mac App Store, and it basically allows you to test certain preview apps. So Microsoft has made this available in here. Um, I'll put a link below. A really important aspect of using Macs in the corporate world was their ability to run Windows. And I say was because once Apple made the shift from Intel to their own silicon, that changed a little bit. Because the Apple silicon is an ARM-based chip, you can only run Windows on ARM. Now, this has gotten better with support from tools like Parallels and uh, being able to, uh, Microsoft making it official to use the Windows 11 ARM version uh, on your Mac. So it's not that it doesn't run well. It's just there are certain situations where you want to be able to have a full x86 or traditional uh, Windows build on your Mac. It's not really possible anymore. What's interesting enough, though, is that right when the Apple Silicon came out, uh, shortly after Windows 365 came out. So, you know, we've done a whole bunch of talking about Windows 365 and kind of how easy that makes access to these virtual machines are. So um, being able to deploy that on a Mac is going to be a great experience. And when you take this new Windows app in addition to platform SSO, well, let me show you. So I'm going to launch this Windows app. And we're going to hit sign in. Now, I do have to provide my email address because this is still in beta, but I should not have to sign into this app because it should grab the platform SSO. Boom, and it got it. So what it's doing now is this Windows app makes things very easy. I can just go to my devices and see my cloud PC. Um, of course, the Rick Jones cloud PC name is Steve. Uh, that's my profile for my cloud PC, but right through here, I can connect through that. And, and because I have the Entra, um, I have SSO turned on, right? So eventually, because the platform SSO isn't fully baked here yet, it's not passing through. But this will also, um, this will also pass through once that's baked out. Okay, so it's launching my cloud PC, pairing it, obviously doing all the usual stuff. And this should be the same, you know, just like I've showed you the other cloud PC stuff, the same experience here as it is on Windows, um, but a really compelling experience on the Mac side. Okay, and now of course, just like the rest of my stuff, I am on the, uh, I am on the cloud PC. You know while we're talking about things like SSO um, then your normal SSO just takes over so you can see I'm already signed in as Rick so I'm not you know gonna have to do any of that here and again this is all on a Mac right so I think it's important to say that we have a good uh, just kind of highlight that experience and of course if I disconnect that and I reconnect again Right, I, I don't have to authenticate again. It's just that first time. So yes, platform SSO is still uh, new, but I think there's a lot of benefit here in streamlining the Mac experience for those of us who are managing all our devices within Tune. Right, we want to get to the point where it's consistency for our users who want to work on a Mac versus a PC. We want to try to make it as streamlined as possible. So this is a big step towards that. The Windows app for Mac is going to be incredible once that goes, uh, I would say, mainstream. And uh, especially when we can deploy it with Intune. So you got to picture, you know, we, we go through the Mac platform SSO to enroll. We have Apple Business Manager. We're automatically enrolled in Intune. We get Edge, Office, the Windows app all deployed, and, and we have SSO into all of them. So I think that's where we want to get to. Uh, hopefully you found that interesting. Got a lot of new stuff coming up uh, going on in the Microsoft world that we'll be covering soon. So, you know, feel free to chat it up in the discord ask questions and we'll be seeing you